Communities of interest represent a different way of viewing census data. Instead of looking at the characteristics of all people in a geographic location, you can look at the characteristics of a subset of the community defined by age, ethnicity, disability or income. For example, what are the characteristics of the youth in a particular area? Or the Chinese population or low income households? It enables you to zero in on a particular characteristic of a population group relative to the wider community and answer questions about how that community is changing in your area. So, how do you access communities of interest? Communities of interest sit on the left hand menu under our standard area profiles and above specialist profiles. Parramatta has subscribed to the full set of communities currently available but councils can choose particular groups which are relevant to their areas. Not all groups are going to be relevant to all areas. Communities of interest can be defined by Indigenous status, which is Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders, life stages or age groups, year of arrival in Australia, particularly recent arrivals, language spoken at home, including total non-English speakers or specific languages, birthplace, people born overseas as a total or a specific birthplace or group of birthplaces, people with a disability or need for assistance with everyday tasks, and low-income households, people living in households in the bottom quartile of incomes for Australia. Let's have a look at how some of these work in practice. This is the community of interest for non-English speakers or people speaking a language other than English in Parramatta. Each community of interest has an atlas map which is linked from the site. Here we are looking at the age structure of people speaking a language other than English at home in the city of Parramatta. The default benchmark is Greater Sydney. This means that we're comparing the non-English speaking background population of Parramatta to the same non-English speaking background population of Greater Sydney. And you can see they're a bit more concentrated in the younger adult age groups with more young children as well. We can change this benchmark though. The communities of interest also allow you to compare to the total population of the area. So let's try that. Here you can see that compared to the total population in Parramatta, there are actually slightly less young children amongst the non-English speaking background population. As with all of ID's tools, the second chart shows the change over time from 2006 to 11, which are the two census years we have on communities of interest. In this case, there's been tremendous growth in the NESB young adults and young children population. But we can delve a bit further. Parramatta have chosen two specific language groups, Arabic speakers and Korean speakers, as communities of interest in their own right. So I've selected Arabic. Here you can see that Arabic speakers have significantly more children and teenagers than the total population. While Koreans, on the other hand, are likely to be somewhat older. Sticking with Arabic speakers, if we switch over to birthplace, we can see the countries Arabic speakers come from. A large number were born in Lebanon, with other Middle Eastern countries such as Iraq, Saudi Arabia and Egypt represented. But the most interesting finding, I think, is that over 50% of Arabic speakers in Parramatta were born in Australia which is actually higher than the percentage of the total population of Parramatta born in Australia. So these are not all new migrants, but many are at least second generation and possibly third generation migrants. You could then go on to compare other characteristics for Arabic speakers in Parramatta to the total population or to Arabic speakers elsewhere based on these topics. Topics include qualifications, unemployment rate, internet access, dwelling size, car ownership and tenure. You can use this same process for understanding other communities in Parramatta, such as the Indian-born or Chinese-born population of Parramatta, a specific age group, for example, young children, older population, young adults at university, people who need assistance with a disability, or low-income households. All these charts and tables can be exported in the usual way and interface really well with Excel, Word and other spreadsheet and word processing packages. So you can use this information in your own work, for instance a grant application.